All right, this is the uh, Algebra 2 EOC practice test for uh, practice test number one, I should say. Question number 39. The question states, what is the solution to the following systems of, uh, system of equations? And it gives you it into uh, the matrix form and matrices. The way that it's written, how they would really write out if you were to write them out due to the fact that they're together like this, is uh, you'd end up with negative 3x plus 2y plus 5 z is equal to negative 9 and then you'd have 2 x plus 7 y plus 4 z is equal to 5 and then you ended up with 1 x then there would be no y here because it's 0 y minus 2 z and 2. From here we could go ahead and um, solve it by hand if you'd like to do that because you've already eliminated the y term in the last set so you could compare um, this statement with one of the others and try to do it that way or we could just set up matrices and that would be seems like a way easier way to go about it so that's the way that I'm going to do it if it's already in a matrix form why don't you just stay there so in order to do that I need to go in and I'm gonna hit second and then the matrix button once again I'm using the TI-84 plus I need to uh, click over and I need to edit out one a matrix for myself. This is going to be a 3 by 4 because I've got three columns and uh, I've got four columns, I'm sorry. It's three rows and four columns. So this is uh, the way that sets up is this one is the rows and this one is how many columns that you have uh, as far as this calculator is concerned. So I'm going to do that and hit enter. Now I'm going to start typing stuff in. This is just left over from before. I'm just going to put whatever is in front of x in the first term which in this case is negative 3 so that was kind of convenient. Uh, from there I'm going to go to 2 because it's 2y and hit enter and then I hit 5. Then I'm going to hit negative 9 and that should give me the last term in that row and then I'll do 2 seven, four, five, I've got that set up, and then I've got one, zero, negative two, and two. So it should match up, but I'm going to check my columns real quickly. Negative nine, five, and two is fine. Um, five, four, and two looks good. Two, seven, and zero is okay. And then three, two, and one, of course. So if you have it in the form that they give it to you or in the new form that I have in purple, you could just type it in as a matrix just like that. Now, from here, I need to quit out of the matrix really quickly so that I can use it. Now I'm going to go back into the matrix menu and I'm going to go over to where it says math. In order to figure out what the actual values of x, y, and z are, I'm going to go down to the one that says R ref, this one right there, two R's, E, and an F. You hit enter. Now I just need to tell it which matrix I want it to use. So I'm going to hit second, matrix, and I'm going to choose that three by four that I just made, and I can close the parentheses if I want. Hit enter, and it tells me this information. What this means when it has the one in this first term, that would be the first variable, so that would be the X. So it says X is equal to four. It says y is equal to negative 1. You just go down the uh, row there to figure that out. And then last you would have 1. So the value of x would be, that would make this system work, x would be 4, y would be negative 1, and z would be 1. Which is the answer right there. It's what it tells you. x is 4, y is negative 1, z is 1. So the answer to that question is D. Anytime you have it set up in either way, I think it's easiest just to go ahead and set up a matrix for it and then just do, uh, do the work from there. So good luck.